voice of Yang. Hi, I'm Erin, voice of Lego. And this is Anime Festival Orlando. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm finally over at the convention, got the schedule, got my badge. Let's go take a look at what the dealer's room has to offer. Also, let's look at the old awesome cosplayers, and I really wish I was cosplaying. I can't do it because of the freaking heat. These guys are troopers, man. These guys are troopers. Let's take a look at some of them. Rubbing on her thighs, she stay wet for her. Shawty so kawaii and would die for her. Ride and watch him tie all the time with. My soul is tormented by a sucky this Call a sis, pants who dripping from the way I spit. Fell in love with this, sis got music, now she in my grips. Wanna take a sip of her only signs and sits. No, no questions asked, always lit, only smash. Trying up my sis, got team, get a foot off in your ass, boy. I ain't talking about the DOA, but shawty's jiggle physics on the level of a Yanni main. Okay, okay, we acting out the more bro case. Shouts out the timer for them tags, they sounding sexy. Tell your niche, I come and test me if that nigga wants some beef. In the sheets and that she got, but in the streets, I be the chill, chillin' watching hand tie with other niggas. Cold highs like a skirt, mini size and socks. Pull them knee high, A cup is just fine with only sh Close your eyes, promise you will love it. Just relax tonight with And she till I die, all these lollies call me. Rubbing on her thighs, she stay wet for her. Shawty so kawaii and would die for her. Ride and watch him tie all the time with And she till I die, all these lollies call me. Rubbing on her thighs, she stay wet for her. Shawty so kawaii and would die for her. Ride and watch him tie all the time with Back, back up in the lab and I'm going insane My bars are flaring up, it gets hotter than the flames of Lil' K Man, I'm so alchemy, man, I'm so cool Geek state of mind, I'm shocking, white shoe that, that was so corny, but I don't give a fuck though Ayo, it's coming out, not paying child support, no No way, no how, I'll turn into a monster Shout out to anime fans that's living like Sato Ataku the Prince, yes, I have spoken Ripping all these hands off like I use KMMG Then I'm eating sushi at teriyaki my main shit, then I order some ramen, watch the anime, bitch. Back in the game, I'm doing my thing. These niggas wanna hate when I step in the ring, and I don't give a fuck. It's anime gang, I'll go in at the set. I claim everybody laugh, but I don't give a fuck though. And your lyrical is she keeps telling what it is. And she till I die, all these lollies call me. Rubbing on her thighs, she say wet for her. Shawty so kawaii and would die for her. Ride and watch him tie all the time with. And she till I die, all these lollies call me. Rubbing on her thighs, she stay wet for her. Shawty so kawaii and would die for her. Ride and watch him tie all the time with. Okay, guys, I decided to take a break after recording a bunch of cosplayers, so I hope you enjoyed that little montage there. I also bought a bunch of stuff, and I didn't expect to buy too many stuff since it's a Friday, so they don't have all their good stuff out yet. And uh, I'm, I'm mainly looking for, you know, Persona 5 merch and a few other figures that I wanted. But, uh, yeah, so I bought uh, quite a few things here, but I'll show you a separate haul video. I haven't participated in any, like, um, events yet. I haven't gone to any events or any autograph signings yet. The main ones that I want to go to are late at night or on Saturday. So, you know, it's whatever. This is actually my first time attending an all-weekend con. Technically, I have attended an all-weekend con, but I didn't, I wasn't there for every single day. I was only there for, like, the one day. This time, I'm actually here for all three days. So, there's going to be something, man. I'm sure I'm going to be exhausted by the end of this. Hello! Hi, Dr. Redman. Welcome to AFO. I'm looking for hedgehogs. Have you seen one? Okay, so some guy wanted me to kind of demo his products and stuff. So we walk around, he's just like, yo, can you demo this? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So this is one of his products here. Yeah, and uh, this is his uh, little store thing. Yeah. <laughs> Waifu wear. It's a pretty cool stuff, actually. I'm I'm gonna buy like a few of his, his uh, shirts too. Look at this one. No waifu, no life. That one's great, man. I wish I. Got he has that tanks one. too and whatever. So uh, yeah, check check it out. I guess. Oh look, hold up. Here's the card. There we go. Yeah, bro. Come back here if you want, bro. It's got an actual name and someone knows it, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, I like the Nevermore. I think that's always been my favorite. It's just so epic. Yeah. And the giant, yeah, crow bird thing. Um, I like the the horse thingy that um, men had to fight. I also the nut lady? Yeah. The nut lady? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but um, Episodes 
one, five, and eight, and they kind of just get things done all at the same time. So when in Premiere, they were still working on it every other episode at the same time, and they've, they've gotten a lot better now that we have a bigger team of animators and a bigger team of people in the animation studio in general at getting things done a little bit earlier. So they usually finish the episodes of completion maybe like a few days before it's due. Is that the same thing for like character designs and stuff? I usually give them character designs pretty far in advance. Um, sometimes I, uh, I'm not sure if they, they use these, but I think they might have placeholders for characters that need designing because they also, uh, Rooster Team also has in house studios that do like uh, sometimes like background characters and stuff, but generally for um, the main characters, uh, I will give them the character designs way in advance. Uh, so, what's your like favorite outfit that your character like like for voice actors of of Blade and voice actors of Yang? Sorry, I don't remember names at the moment. I'm so sorry. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> like, uh, it's like, what's your favorite outfit? Like, is like the prom dance outfit? Is it like volume one and two outfit? Oh, there was actually a different outfit for volume two for like the, the one episode. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I like three of my outfits. Mm. I like the I like the pirate outfit. I like the um, the like kind of sporty sort of outfit, and then I definitely like her her sleeping mode. I want it. If someone could make me one, I will pay you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think my favorite is a toss up between her like secondary outfit in the first couple volumes, where she had like the black boots and when she went to go find Junior. Um, or the one from volume four right at the end, where she's got like that awesome coat and everything. She looks so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Obi-Wan, X-Wing fighter, and the blaster gun, dance with Ewoks, so we're fun. This is spaceships, it's monsters, and Star Wars, we love it. Get in the new big furry hoof. I couldn't care less what you smell. Gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. He's gaining on you! You're looking for your car, but you're all turned around. He's almost upon you now, and you can see there's blood on his face. My God, there's blood everywhere! Now it's dark, and you seem to have lost him, but you are hopelessly lost yourself, stranded with a murderer. You creep silently through the underbrush. Aha! In the distance, a small cottage with the light on. Hope! You move stealthily toward it, but you're there! Ah! It's coming a bear trap! You limp into the dark woods, blood oozing from your stumped leg. But you have won. You have beaten Shia LaBeouf. Wait, he isn't dead. Shia's surprise. And death in his eyes. Well guys, Miles is about to leave, but we just went to an awesome JoJo's Bizarre Adventure panel. Didn't record awesome. it, but you know, we really enjoyed it and we found out that there's a dating sim 
game for JoJo's and we're just like, wait. <laughs> She's gonna download that. I'm not gonna download that. No, no, this man, he kept on doing research. I was like, why are you still doing research? <laughs> I mean, hey, you never know. <laughs> no, that actually would be pretty funny though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, man, nice meeting you. Don't nice forget to subscribe you. to him, guys. All right, later. See ya. <laughs> Love you. Guys, just a heads up, those two are actually on the same team. <laughs> that was just a, let's have a fun ride day. Yeah. <laughs> this is Yo Mushi Battle, new generation. This is the second series. If you have not seen the first part, uh, Yo Mushi Battle, definitely check it out. This is a sports anime, but they take the sports concept, they keep that competition vibe in it, and even though the, all these characters are at school, I don't think I've seen the inside of a classroom yet, which I deeply enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Keep it on the road, show me, show me wheels turning. That's what I came here for. No, honestly, this show is so fun. They give you so many characters, honestly, so many characters, that and, and they make it fun. Yeah. They, make, they make these characters super unique. Each of them have their own kind of weird quirk that their makes them super. Power. Yeah, they, they, they give them shonen type powers, mm -hmm. and <laughs> that guy trains his body, you know, with weights to the limit that he becomes a, a muscle speeding bicycle machine. He <laughs> named his pecs Andy and Frank, and then they were, they were revealed in the new season. His back is Fabian. I was like, Fabian, let's go. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I just walked out of an 18 plus panel, which by the way, always go to 18 plus panels if you, you are 18, of course, because those are the best part of any convention, okay? So I just came back from an 18 plus panel called Voice Actors After Dark, and who was there was, um, uh, we had Caitlin Glass, you know, the voice actress of Winry from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Haruhi from Orin High School Host Club. And we also had the voice actresses, um, you know, Aaron and Barbara of, uh, you know, Yang and Blake from Ruby and this other person who, I don't really know his name. It's Robert something. That's actually him right there. But uh, yeah, at the end of the panel, Caitlin Glass, who is mainly a director now, she directed Prince of Stride, uh, you know, the English dub, obviously. And so she decided to show us, we were the very first people that she ever showed this to, but at the very last episode for Princess Stride, when they were done recording and stuff, she, like, she and the rest of the voice actors didn't want it to end. So they redubbed the episode and replaced all the dialogue with something that you would hear out of the Ghost Stories English dub. For those of you who have always wanted another thing like the Ghost Stories English dub, this was it. But unfortunately, we were not allowed to record it. We were the very first people that she's ever shown this to, and she's had this uh, like episode on her flash drive for over a year now, and it was awesome. Because like, for those of you who don't know Princess Stride, it's a, it's like a, a smaller version of free, you can say, you know, man service, otome game style type, type, type thing. She's not dating sim wise, but uh, it's a sports anime based on like stride, you know, parkour and stuff. And what made this so hilarious, because like I said, it's like, the English dub of Ghost Stories, except not as much cursing. They replaced almost every single word with like dude and bro, even their names. So they're like, yo, talk a dude. They, they, they just say bro like all the time. They're just like, yo, broski, want a bro with the bro as we do the bro bro? And like, like, honestly, they just kept on saying bro and like dude and stuff. And it was just so funny, man. And like Hosumi, they made Hosumi like this horny little kid. He's just like, yo, where are the bitches at? He's all like, let me get some five bitches up in here. And then at the end, he was just like, ah, oh, those bitches wore me out. And freaking Kyosuke, he, he was just all like, yo, Heath, I didn't bring my bike. You know why? Because I'm going to be riding your mom home. <laughs> And for those of you who don't know, like, like the Princess Stride English dub is like stacked. I mean, there are a fair amount of newcomers in that English dub, but a bunch of the side characters are like really big in the anime voice, act, like anime English dub voice acting industry. So it's just hilarious seeing like J. Michael Tatum, Austin Tyndall, freaking Greg Iris popped up in that episode as well, and stuff like all these awesome like famous voice actors just go all out and just sound like something from freaking Ghost Stories English dub, and I. I loved it, man. Oh my gosh. I, I hope you, you guys get a chance to see it. 
if you're over at a con because it's not supposed to be released or anything like that. Like this, we were like the first ones she's ever showed this to. It's not supposed to be on the internet, otherwise, you know, she'd get fired and stuff like that. But yeah, if you ever have a chance to go to a con with, you know, Caitlin Glass in it, then you best be going just to see that. Even if you're not a fan of Princess Stride, okay? A majority of the people in there did not know what Princess Stride was, and I can't blame them, okay? <laughs> but like, for reals, man, like, yo, that was, that was fantastic. Day is the last day, so I'll, I'm gonna be just participating in like you know events and stuff. It's supposed to be like an anime Jeopardy, anime a, a scene, it, I, I think. I don't know. There's a, there's a couple of things going on, and I also want to buy uh, another wallet so I can put my business cards in because guess what? Now whenever I go to cons, I'm gonna give out a business card. Here, check it out. But yeah, you don't need to read the part in details. Just look, see, it's got my avatar around there and stuff. But yeah. And then when I'm done with the convention, since you know it's Sunday, the final day, you know, the conventions always end early, so it ends at 5. Then I'm going to go back over to my place, and then I'm going to hang out with Tony for the rest of the day when he's done with work. So guys, I just came back from, um, like, the You Don't Know Anime. It was like this game show thing, and uh, I, I actually decided to participate in it, and it was a lot of fun. And guess what? I won. Sorta. Of. I actually tied with another person. But hey, I know. My freaking anime. I ain't still the female talk for nothing. Okay, so for those of you who saw my Castle Point anime convention, then you know I went to a maid cafe for the first time. And it wasn't as cringy as I thought it was, mainly because they were in a rush and they didn't do the full act, which is good, because I don't really like it when they do the whole full, like, you know, cute moment act thing. That's why I never wanted to go to one in the first place. Place. But at the time I was really desperate because I didn't have any food on me, so I was just like, okay, I have no choice. But this time, I am deliberately going to a maid cafe, <laughs> like, like deliberately doing this to vlog it for science. It's for science. No, for real, they're actually gonna give me like the full experience. So it's like gonna be an hour long, and I can actually vlog, which is good because like most, you know, maid cafe services and stuff like that, like they, they won't allow you to take videos. So I'm just like, okay, this is actually a rare opportunity. So, so why not? You know, okay, and if it's cringy, then you know what? That then I'll say I told you so to myself because I I told myself that this would happen. And I'm not making any sense. Let's just cut to the next scene. Princess Mary is home. Princess Mary is home. Sloan. Princess Sloan is home. Okay, my name is Sloan.
<laughs> you guys are all doing way better than ever. Oh my god. I'm both gonna get to the top of four times over and then I'm not gonna know what to do. You haven't got it yet? Oh my god! 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 You're being day. weird. I'm Come sorry. on. I hate you. No, I hate you. Thank you. And I hate you. And the lighting is crap in here. This is very crap. Can I have a hug or not? No. Hey, let me just. Oh my god. That's, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, well, what were you we talking about here? How much we hate you. So while I was actually in there, there was a fan. I'm just like, wait, what? Excuse me. No, and, 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 and then there's this guy. There's please no don't. time for fans, all right? Please don't. Please. We gotta yes. go to the Choco. I love you. I care for the fans. But I know. I know. Don't know this Choco Bowl thing is. I know. This person too. Why not? I'll be a new fan. I'll be a new fan. It's a Choco Bowl. Choco Bowl, man. But I know. But I love. But we left because that was that was not that was not cool. All right, guys. That'll be the oh. Just kidding. Okay. All right, guys. That'll be the end for the AFO. 2017 vlogs. If you want to see more on my daily life vlog adventures with Tony, the black critic guy, with that epic new thing. I finally really lived nice. up to my shirt. For real? Yeah, you're right. It, it's become a reality, isn't it, right? It's really nice. I like it a lot. Yes. But if you want to see those, make sure you put the link in the description, or there's probably a card popping up right about now. And thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for a cosplay music video as well. I got so much cosplayers, man. It is crazy. But anyway, thanks again. I'm your female talker. Sayonara. Peace, you too. Epic. Epic.